So today we are going to be talking a little bit and reading a book about a boy named Javier who builds a bridge. And in this book, we're going to be talking about civil engineering, which is a specific type of engineering. There are lots of different kinds of engineers who do different kinds of jobs. So today when we read this book, we're going to find out a little more about civil engineers. But I first wanted to tell you that this book takes place in the state of Texas. Does anyone know anyone who lives in Texas? Or has anyone ever been to Texas? Oh, Catherine. Julia's been to Texas. Who has? Julia. Ah, Julia. Julia and Iris. Didn't Julia and Iris used to live in Texas? Yeah, that's what I thought. They definitely lived in Texas. So now, before we get started, remember I said it's about building a bridge. Why do we need bridges? What would be a reason that we would need a bridge? Saya, why do we need bridges? We can't pass water with the car. Do bridges only go over rivers? No. no. Where else do bridges go? Aria. I have a bike path near my house and it has a bridge to cross over the straw and stuff. Ah, because you wouldn't be able to ride your bike through there? It, oh, that's a good idea. Cameron. It can go, go over like a train track or a road because like at the Boys and Girls Club there's a bridge and yes. the bike path goes right over it and the road is right, and the road's under it. The road is right under the bridge, exactly. Lots of people have know a lot about bridges already, which is really great. So we're going to start reading our book. So we're going to start at chapter one, which is called The Crossing. What do you already notice in the picture? Kate, what do you notice? A bridge. Yeah. Does it look like a good bridge? No. no. Why not? Because it looks all old and it doesn't look very stable. Oh. Javi, wait for me, my little sister whined, but I kept running. Chapter 3, An Idea. My shoulders sagged. Why do you think his shoulders sagged? It won't work. Oh, you think it's going to be hard? You don't think it's going to work? What do you think, Alice? He said it was going to be easy, but... Now maybe not so easy? Yeah. Hmm. Joe said, don't worry, Javier. This is what I go through all the time when I start a new project at work. We're asking questions about how to solve the problem. It's the first step of the engineering design process. He winked. This is how engineers design things, you know. So he's starting the engineering process. What is the first thing that he needs to do? Yunso. Ask questions and solve it. Yeah, he has to ask some questions. What kind of questions might he need to ask? He might need to get the right material. Ah, he might need to know what kind of materials he would need. That's a question, exactly. He would have to cut the bottom off, and if he wanted to be stable, you'd have to add another layer. You'd have to add another thing across, and then you'd have to like crank it. They could there. also put sticks on both sides and then ropes, so you could hold on while you walk across. Ah, so like a railing. But yeah, yeah you need more than one because even though it might be like really, really balanced, you still yeah. might need one yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. you're going to need one another. One no, 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 like, yeah. no. I'm going the side. Like, ah, yeah. bigger so, bridge. Yeah. So that they would be next to each yeah. other. Yeah. Good yeah. thinking, yeah. Alice. I picked up the smooth block and rubbed it in my hand. Thanks to that block, I'd be able to go to my fort after all. So today, we are going to start on this little packet. We are not going to do the whole thing today. On the front, there are three types of bridges. Does anyone remember the special name of these supports that hold up the bridge? Evan. Pier. Yes, excellent. So on this paper, you're just going to fill in the name and then you're going to circle the piers. And then there's some vocabulary. If you'll notice on here, Number one says civil engineer, and it says page 13. If you go to page 13 in your book, you will find that on this page, it tells you what a civil engineer is. Find each word in the storybook and write down its definition. So you would find civil engineer right in here. It's right at the beginning of the page. And then you would read what it said, and then write down what a civil engineer is. Um, 
If you look here, this tells you what engineers do. Here's down further, it says Joe helps design big structures. They can't find just a simple engineer on this page. Engineers. Oh. So today we're going to continue. So remember he, his sister was playing with blocks and he got the idea to build a beam bridge. So we're on to chapter five, which is called Food for Thought. I was using blocks to help me think of bridge ideas. Want to see my ideas? I handed her my stack of drawings, five and all. Mama tipped her head and peered at the papers. Oh, nice. I like this green one. Yeah, I like that one too, but I need a new idea. So can you see the bridge that they've built between the chairs? What do you think? Do you think Joe is going to think this is a good idea? Yeah. A second crossing. Four weeks later, I packed, so four weeks have gone by, I packed three tuna sandwiches and one peanut butter and jelly without the crust into a bag. So they had a problem in this story. They had to figure out what kind of a bridge to make. How did they solve that problem? What, did, what kinds of things did they have to do to solve the problem? Alice, what did they have to do? First they thought of um, plans and then they, um, and then kind of Louisa, kind of she drew a picture. Right, so they had thought of ideas, and then what did they have to do? After they had thought of the ideas for the bridge, what did they have to do next? What did they need to do? Sam, what did they do before they talked to Joe? They, they made a model of the bridge. And then they showed it to their grandparents, and to their mother and father, and what did they think? They did think it was really good, and did Joe agree to build it with them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. excellent. All right, so today we are going to look at our, again in our packets, we're going to finish the first page and then we're going to go back to finishing our definitions. Then all together we will do the last page. On the top of that page, you'll see up in the corner, there's a, an oval, and then it has some words. It says, ask, imagine, plan, create, improve. Those are all of the steps, and here they are right down the side. Those are all of the steps of the engineering design process. So, let's think about the ask. What did he do when he was asking, when he was asking about the bridge? What did he ask about? What did he ask his cousins? Alton. Help me find out what bridge I should make. So ask about different, yeah. okay, so let's, we can say different kinds of bridges and what might work for him, him meaning Javier. When you're done writing that, think about what they were imagining. All right, Yunsa, what were they imagining? Well, Harvey himself was imagining um, going um, and holding two bags um, and he was walking on the beam bridge. Uh, so Javier was imagining, so he was imagining the beam bridge. Okay, so we can have... Oh, so he was imagining, oh, he was imagining a log that was a type of beam bridge. So we can have... Javier imagined a beam bridge. Mm hmm. Bridge. Excellent. People are doing a really great job. Lots of good ideas. Does anyone remember what it's called 
when you create something, but it isn't the actual end product. It wasn't actually the real bridge. Kate, do you remember what it was called? The model bridge. The model bridge. Do you remember the other fancy word that they used in the book? Xavier, do you remember? Prototype. Prototype. And that's another word for, that's like the fancy sparkle word, Kate, for model. All right, let's look at the last step. Improve. String. string. They had to, add, had more to string. add more string to the part where the cart went off. Yeah, so they had to improve. They improved their prototype until it was the best it could be. And then they built the bridge, the actual real thing. My name's Ann Daisy Fuentes. I teach second grade at the Hardy School in Arlington, Massachusetts. I chose to read the story over two days for a couple of reasons. I knew that I could have read the whole story to them in one day, but there were a lot of things that were discussed in the story that I felt they needed to have some time to process and think about. At the same time, there were also a couple of papers that went along with the story, and I didn't want them to have to do everything at the end. I think it gives kids more of an opportunity to discuss and talk about what's happening in the book in two separate parts. And I just think based on the discussions that happened in the classroom this time, I feel like it was really something that was a great learning experience for all the kids. And I wouldn't want to rush through that part of it. It builds a really good foundation to have them really discuss it quite a bit and write down, write some things down as well. <laughs>